Today we meet Kevin for the first time. Kevin flew quite some time ago and has joined us for flying lessons. We started out in some lovely calm air, but before long the gusty winds came our way to make the training a little bit more challenging. Like all low hour pilots, the use of right rudder to correct the left turning tendencies of the aircraft is always an issue. So we went to the training area and did some exercises to get his feet working in sync with the use of ailerons. It didn't take long before Kevin was able to pick up on the hand-eye coordination skills to make a perfect turn. So come with us and enjoy. I'd also appreciate you subscribing to the channel, so hit that subscribe button and the bell to be advised when a new video is available. Thanks for watching and enjoy. That's it, we never stop on the gravel, we just keep right, bring the power back up a bit fast. We're going to put the right foot down gently. Yep. Now this time, when we get all the way around, push it hard, push hard, get it lined up in the middle. They're coming around. Get to the middle. I'll make a call. Perfect, Murray Bridge, 5246 line from rolling 101 Murray Bridge. Okay, so I'm going to hold the stick. You're going to get your hand away. You're just going to use your feet. So I want you to steer, okay? That's all I want you to do. Yep. So we, in, as we increase the power, it'll go left. Get a feel for it. Average traffic. That's about it. That's right, that's it. I'm going to bring the nose back, keep turning the feet, it'll come up on its red. That's it, use your feet, good. So you're doing all the steering, okay? So I want to go around a little bit to the left now. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jebra 5246 departing up wind 01. I'm climb 2500 track for the northern planning area. Murray Bridge. Yeah, use your feet. This is an exercise for you to get a feel for that rudder. Rather, if one of the wings, I'll just bank it left a little bit, goes that way, use your right foot, pick the wing up again. You'll get a feel for that ball. So see those green circles over there? Yep. Just gently head over towards those. No, don't touch the seat. We're not going to be, won't be a properly coordinated turn, but you're using your feet to steer. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. Traffic my bridge, Chevrolet 4971 turning, base runway 01 for a full stop my bridge. Lovely, keep coming around. Keep coming around. Now gently roll out it with your feet. Lovely. See the bend in the river over there? Yes, right. Take us over there, just using your feet. But it doesn't take a lot of foot pressure, does it? Particularly for, as you're doing now a really nice smooth turn. When you come onto it, use your left foot to straighten it out. The bike tango Bravo is turning downward, one way zero one for a full stop flight of approach. Left foot to lift it up with. 
and then you get a look at that, smooth, right in the middle. Your, your feet have just loosened up enormously from last week. Yours were really pushing against me all the time, right? I get that, that's tension. That's all learning. Now, okay, so that's good. Now, because we've got that mountain there in the distance, well, not a mountain in Australia, it's a hill. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to do an exercise where we're going to roll along the longitudinal axis, that's the one through the middle here, we're going to roll the plane around that axis. Initially, we're going to use uh, the stick only. So now we're going to take our feet off the, off the, off the uh, pedals, to take your feet off the pedals, I'll keep mine there. You've got the stick now, okay? I'll just come with me for the first one. So we're aiming out there, right? Yep. So what we're going to do, to, well, let's bring the power back a little bit. Watch what happens. When, when, I, when I go push it to the left, watch what happens to the, to the bubble on the nose. It goes to the right. Yep. Okay? But if I go to the right, it'll go left. It will come around the end, but it takes a while because it's a delay. Okay? That is the one thing that makes people sick when they're flying. Because we are, our brain is saying I'm going forward, but the g-forces on our body are saying I'm flying sideways. That's, we don't want that. We don't stop that. So what I want you to do initially, it's going to the nose will go funny. What I want you to do is start is a nice gentle roll. Doesn't matter that it's rocking and rolling. But if this makes you feel crook, let me know. We don't have to do it, right? But just but keep trying to aim it at that. Now, notice the nose swinging around like that. Yep. So it's not nice. So this time, yeah, that's it. That's what I want. Keep, go both sides. Nice and smooth. And the other way. See what's happening to the nose. That is a no-no. Unless there are certain circumstances where we would use that to our advantage. But look, at this stage we don't want to do that. Okay? So this time what we want to do is leave the stick alone so just leave that, I'll oh, hold it, you take your hand off it all together. Now I want you to do the same thing with your foot, your feet. Left, right, left, right. Notice it turns where you want it to go. Little delay. I hear quite some, progressively build it up. Okay, so that's a little better, at least it's going where we ask it to, with our feet, isn't it? Yes, now, come back to straight and level again, and on the control, this time we're going to do left, left uh, aileron, left foot, right aileron, but we need to do it very gently, a little bit, that's it, but there's a lag, wobbling a little bit, right? So we're not truly coordinated. So let's come back to straight again. Just put a little bit of left foot, left stick. That's it, hold it there, now come back the other way. The ball's staying in the middle. Got the idea? Yes, sir. So come straight and level again. Just start, first of all, that's it, start it gently. how much foot pressure is required, rudder foot, uh, rudder pressure is required for the action up here. And when to bring it in because yeah, you don't, re I don't really have to bring it in until I start come straight and level and then come back. Correct. Correct. So um, if I, the minute I put a control input in, if I go straight in with a counter rudder, I'm overcompensating. That's exactly right. It's a feel, it's a touch. And yep. your body will eventually feel that. You'll, I, I can do this with my own shot. Just, it just becomes a habit after a while. Like riding a bike, you can say vertical. You know. But leave the stick, that's enough, that's enough bank, leave it, don't use the feet anymore, there it is, now hold it there. Coming around to that point you chose. Okay, keep around, the tower, keep coming around. I normally use long distance things, but that's up to you. you okay. Right. The ball's in the middle. 
That's it. Now come out of it, put it stick together. Get, they get into a bank turn like this, and then once they get in the turn, they leave their feet there and bring the stick back. And all of a sudden the ball starts to slip out of a cage, right? They come out of there. So you need to use stick and rudder to come out of it. That's good. There's a river over there on the left, so make a nice turn to that. Yes, perfect. Just, if there's enough bank, just hold it there. Lovely, don't come back. Perfect turn. Ball's right in the middle. Don't fixate on this. I'm I'm trying not to just to yeah. reference it occasionally. That's right. I'm when, when I feel like I'm in uncoordinated. Yeah, I'm double just double checking my cool. feelings with Absolutely the fine. instrument. But when you come out of it you stick and rudder. redundant till you have three. <laughs> now, we're at 2,000 feet, which is nice. What I want you to do, I've just got the control of my airplane from that. I want you to put that on the horizon. On the horizon? On your horizon to yeah. your eyes. Okay. Yep. For me, you're much taller. It's, it's yeah. up there for me. <laughs> no, always a problem for my instructors. <laughs> so that, that's your, that's a mark, okay? And what we plan to do is we're going to slow the plane down a little bit. So we don't come down for now. And we're going to draw, using our feet and hands, we're going to draw a box in the sky, a rectangle. Okay, so if we, if you watch your mark and we do that, yep. the mark's going up, isn't it? Yep. Okay, if I do that, the mark's coming down. Yep. In relation to your horizon. Yes. Okay? So that's easy. That's the up and the down. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this mark to draw a rectangle. We're going to go up in a minute, up across, down, and back again. It's an imaginary... Um, I understand. The reason we're doing this is I'm now going to make you undo everything you just learned back there before. Excellent. And we're going to do what's called a, sli a slide or a slip. Okay? I because when we're coming down to land and we find the plane is drifting to the left, which it always will, we've got to get it back to the middle. Okay? But we don't want to miss it. We're near the ground. We don't want to sort of get back to the middle by doing that. Yep. Because the wing might hit the ground. So we need to slide it to the right. Okay? So anything we use, our right foot is going to slide us, isn't it? Yep. We want to go right, for example. So if you just watch that dot in relation to your horizon, if I use my right foot and push the left stick, it coming across the other way? Yep. But the wings are still level. Yep. Well, that's, that's called crabbing, isn't it? Or well, well, basically you're crabbing sideways, yes. Yep. But you put what, if you can imagine we are three foot, six foot off the runway. Okay? And we've drifted left. We want to get back to the middle of the runway. We could bank it, but we're pretty close to the ground. Okay? So what we can do is we can slip it across by going, by putting my right foot in, and I use my left rudder and yep. my left aileron. So again, I do that, and there it goes, sideways. And I can go sideways that way. And if you look at the skip ball down the bottom there, the balance ball, when I do that again, yep. way out. Yep, we've crossed controls. We don't leave it in for, for 10 minutes, we only do it momentarily, but it's a way of slipping the plane across the runway to, um, to a landing position, which is the centre of the runway. These are just exercises to try and... If we, if, you know, our, our recreational aviation will tell you that the greatest number of accidents and incidents for our, our pilots happens near the ground. By far, the biggest, biggest percent is miles though. You don't hear a plane smacking into each other or you know, wings falling off. It's when people are near the ground. So what I'm trying to do is make sure you've got the, the near the ground skills in preparation. So there's the first straight line of our box. Okay? Yep. Now while it's there, you want to go to the right, so use your right rudder and left stick. They're going right. So 
then come out of that and come down. Down, that's it. Now left rudder and right stick. Push it across. Yeah. Come out of that. Yep. Go up. I want to go right, so it's right rudder. I'm through to everything I've told you. Okay, come out of that. And then come down. Now go left, that's it. That's it, go on your arm, beautiful. There it is, now come out of that, go up. Now come to the right. That right foot, left stick. That's it. It's, it's, cool. it's weird, isn't it? But you get the idea? Yes sir, coming down. Okay, so let's get ourselves straight and level again. All relaxed. Um, find something way out in the distance under your left wing there. Yes, and do a nice coordinated turn. Left stick, left foot, that's it. Just as enough bank, keep it there. See the nose coming up? Not too, don't step your foot in too, mate. That's fine. That's it, perfect. Maybe just a little bit more power. Not too much. There. There's the mountain range again. Come out on our... Oh, those white towers there. Come out on our... Round you coming up. That's it. Straighten her up. Look at that ball. Perfect. And it feels nice. That's... That's the lesson more. It's about feeling. Don't push back, you're pushing back just a little bit, that's it there. Once you're in the turn, you can just not leave it rest there, that's it. There are the towers, come out of that one smoothly. Wonderful. Nice and smooth. Okay, but the banking's got to be more severe, so therefore the feet, the rudder has to be more severe, right? So away you go, bank it over there. 30 degrees. Yeah, keep it over there. Hold it there, don't move anything, just keep it there. Out of it, it's the same thing going the other way, right? I come out of it now. Look at the ball. Beautiful. So we've got the white silos out here again? Yes, sir. Nice deep turn towards those. Perfect. You come out of it. Course, so I'm trying still, to. That's fine. I'm We're drifting, aren't we? Which is fine. I'm trying to correct. That's fine. Still need to come down a fair way to so bring the power back even more. Traffic my bridge, Chevrolet 4971 turning downwind runway 01 my bridge. Traffic my bridge, Chevrolet 5246 descending dead side of 01 from midfield crosswind joint my bridge. That's some wind, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It feels normal, doesn't it? Even though we're slipping along like you wouldn't believe at the moment. Look at that wind. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jeffrey 5246, joining midfield crosswind 01, Murray Bridge. That's it over the top of the runway. Perfect. 90, 90 degrees. Look at that ball. Beautifully balanced. Keep it there. Don't push it back. That's it. down near the runway and fly along it again, okay? So I'll do the downward checks, fuel pump on, car be here, we won't need it, we'll do it anyway. Right, perfect, so bring the power back now, we want to slow down to 80 knots. Turn that off, don't need that today. So we're still not at 80 knots, so let's pitch it up just a touch. That'll slow it down. Now one stage of flap. Without looking, just count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Check my bridge over at 1, 2, 1,001, 1,002, 1,000. Keep your hand relaxed and your feet relaxed. So there's the other one there. 
Damn that? Yep. I think I wear a side fat hand. So, I'm a humble chicken. We've got our flaps are set. Fuel pump is on. Green, 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 green. We're good to land. Back to the runway. <laughs> Distracted you. No, oh, okay. Look at the runway. Line, line of trees, sorry. That's right. Watch your balance. That's good. No rush. We're going to fly along the runway. Just near the runway. Now we're a little high. You've got to look at that profile. We call it a profile. What does that look like? A little bit high, so I came around the right. That cell is fixed up here. Early. But you can use small adjustments of power as required. Now we're coming down. See that? So we can pitch it up a little bit. Now we're doing 75, a little bit faster, bring the power back. That's it, steer with your feet, not with the stick. There's the wide, just a touch of power, just a touch, just a touch. File on the wrong way. Look how wide it is, see that now? Yep. Let me just land it. Okay, come on, have another landing. How nice is that? We have another one. The nose wheel's still on the ground, right? Uh, off the ground. Yeah, you're steering with the feet, good. One hit the fences, okay. There's that wide runway, that's what you've got to remember. Okay, let's put some power on here. Don't climb yet, just get some power. Get some air speed. Push, 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 push. Full power, that's it. Now we've got 75 knots up we go. So we're three good landings then. How about that? Traffic rollers, Jabro 4971 joining midfield crosswind runway 01 rollers. And when we get to 1200, nothing on the left, it'll be attitude, get the nose right first. Attitude, about there. Bring the power back, 2800. to hold it there so it doesn't flop around and, and then turn down wind Traffic my bridge, Jeffrey 5246, downwind 01, my bridge Very nice turn Coming around See that line of trees there? That, yes, that's what you want to sort of use as your che cheating point <coughs> Now we've turned with 70 knots, it's lovely, now bring the power back. If it wasn't for the wind, we'd most probably be able to glide from here. Come over to the right, always fix as much as you can up early. Now so it's lined up on the runway. Don't let the wind Over to the right. Looking good. If you're using your feet, that's good. Bring the power back just a touch. Not, much, not too much. Right, yeah, keep it there. Now we can fix it up again. Don't let the wind beat you. Come on to the right. Going left, so fix it up, right foot, right foot, right rudder, I should say. That's it there. Keep coming slowly down, work your way down. Work your way down. Okay. Fine. Not wide yet. Not wide yet, bit of right rudder, right rudder, that's it there. Here it is, keep it there, keep it there, keep it. Right rudder. And you landed. Nicely turned. Ball right in the middle. Remember we said we don't want to
go below 800, so just nice and straight here now. Best we can with that wind blowing. That's it, now straighten her up. That's right, we're fair way out, aren't we? Don't let the plane win, you've got to get it back again. This is the harder part, this, you've got to react. Don't let the wind beat you at any time. But now we're doing 70 knots, just a touch, that's right. Still flying up with the wrong way again. Yep. Okay. 